Hi friends! Today we're going to talk about my TBR for the month of August. I am currently coming at you from my webcam because the battery's dead of the camera because I've been filming for VEDA. Um, if you missed my the end of my bookshelf tour, I will be doing VEDA in August. Um, instead of doing a video every day, I'm going to be doing a video every weekday. And I have some vlogs planned and a whole bunch going on. My camera battery is dead, so um, I need to film this video for July still, so we're doing this webcam style. Okay. I have quite a few books that I would like to get to in August. We'll see how it goes. I have a couple of vlogs that I want to do, reading vlogs I want to do, as previously stated, and also have some group books to read. Um, so let's just start with group books, shall we? So the first is, as always, uh, the Marvel Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge, which I will link the ladies who run that down below, um, and our Discord server if you want to join. It's not too late. Um, we have a lot of like different reading challenges in that, and there's boards, and it's if you like Avengers, it's a lot of fun. Uh, so the August book is The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, and I do believe I have that on audio from the library. So I'll be reading that. And then the AuthorTube chat book club that I do with my friend Kate over at Kate Cavanaugh. Um, we will be reading The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. That will be in August. The book is technically a July-August pick, but as I haven't read it yet in July, gonna have to read it in August. One of the vlogs that I will be doing, um, I don't have any issues telling you what I'm reading because it's uh, it's whatever. So one of the vlogs I will be doing is going to be the oldest books on my TBR or books that I bought prior to uh, BookTube Influence because I bought them prior to 2017, which is when I started BookTube. So those books will be Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Maas. It's the second book in the Throne of Glass series. Um, I have read Throne of Glass, but I haven't read Crown of Midnight and I needed another book to throw in and... So I threw that one in. Um, there's one that I've already read, but I forgot that I was using it for a reading vlog. So that will be in there as well. Um, and then we have Lifeblood by Gina Showalter. This is the second book in the Everlife series, which I read a really long time ago. Don't know that if I remember enough of it to go into this, but I wasn't like super sold on it. So I wasn't hyped for this as much as I could have been. It's on my shelf. I need to at least give it a shot. It is with us by Colleen Hoover. This was the first Colleen Hoover book that I actually owned. It, I actually won it on uh, Colleen's Facebook account, I believe. Um, I followed Colleen on social media before I started reading her books. She was hosting a giveaway for a signed copy. I won this one. I then purchased some other ones that I have read since then, but I've never read this one. Why? Don't know. Um, but it's signed and I have a bookmark. And so this one's on the list. And then also The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I have read the first Twilight book, but did not read any of the others because I did not enjoy the first one enough to continue on. But again, I read them probably in my 30s. It was either my late 20s, early 30s. I didn't read them as a teenager like everyone else did. But I enjoyed the host movie, and I've heard that this book is more sci-fi oriented and less of some of the other things that you get in the other series. So I'm going to give this one a shot as well. And then the other books that I need to get to are arcs. I have a lot of arcs that I need to get to. I currently have 18 arcs that I need to get to. I did a video last week of all of the arcs that I have, so I will link that in the description box down below if you want to see like all of the arcs that I need to read, um, but I have a lot. And I want to do a reading vlog of five of those just to try to bump up my percentage. Um, so I'll be reading Kisses and Croissants by Anna Sophia jo Johano. I will learn how to pronounce her name correctly before I start the vlog. Um, People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry, which is already out. Kisses and Croissants is also already out. Also already out is Isn't It Romantic by Alyssa K. Adams. I've started that one, but I haven't finished it yet. Uh, Hold Out by Jeffrey Kluger, which comes out August 3rd, and Casadora by Romina Garber, which comes out August 17th. Those are the five that I plan to read 
for that. Um, Kisses and Croissants, I know, is like a YA rom-com set in France, which if you know anything about me, my life currently revolves around France. So I love the France. I mean, yes. So I'm excited for that one. Don't know why I haven't picked it up when it came out in April, but hey, here we are. Uh, People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. That is, um, I read Beach Read last year. Really enjoyed that. That one came out in May. I haven't picked it up. Horrible Person. Isn't It Romantic by Liz K. Adams came out um, on the 20th of July. So I'm not super far behind on that one. Um, and as I said, I have started it. I just haven't finished it yet. I'm not very far in. That is the fourth book in the Bromance Book Club series. And it follows Thrushin, which I'm super excited about. Um, Holdout is a, an adult sci-fi, I do believe. And Casadora is the sequel to La Bizona that came out last year that involves werewolves and illegal aliens. So those is what I'll be reading again if you want to know more of like the plot behind the arcs. There's a whole video where I discuss all of the plots from all of the arcs that I need to read. Um, I don't really know much about anything else that I plan on reading. I'm sure that there will be time for other things, but I'm trying not to plan too much this month because I've been doing a lot of reading vlogs or reading challenges rather. I've been doing a lot of reading challenges and so my reading has been very like you have to read this and this and this and this and if you know me you know that I'm a mood reader so I haven't really picked up anything that I've been like I just want to read this book which is fine because I've been reading books that I enjoy. I had do have some 2021 releases that I'd like to get to. I also need to start getting back into Lord of the Rings because I wanted to read the whole trilogy by the end of this year and so far I've only read the first one and we're going into August which is less than half of the year left so I need to get to those as well. This month, spoiler alert, will probably be one of the first months that I have gone up in the TBR takedown because I did get a lot of books this month for different things. So I don't know how it's going to go, but you know, just join me for the ride. It should be a fun time. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple times a week. If you don't notice anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>